everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So if you were following along with my grocery haul this week, you knew that I was going to prep my five dinners and one hour meal plan. Pardon my interruption of your upcoming video, but I wanted to give you a quick update. So when I filmed this video, there was no partnership. This was not sponsored. There was nothing going on between five dinners and one hour, except for the fact that I was a customer. But since I filmed it, there has been a change. So I wanted to jump on, insert this in here just so you would see what was going on and let you know that I am now a partner with five dinners in one hour. I've become um, one of their affiliates and will be doing much, much more in the future with them. So I'm not sure what that's going to entail. I'm definitely gonna give you some videos on my channel here, but it may open up to a little bit more. So stay tuned. I'm sure that you're excited because I know I'm excited and usually we get excited together about things. So with that said, I'll let you continue on with your video, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm super, super excited about this. Um, as always, the link's below if you want to check out their meal plans. I think I say that later in the video, but just in case I don't, it's there for you. And with that said, carry on. So I have my meal plan in front of me, and you can see that there is an array of ingredients that I have sitting behind me. And what we're going to do today is we're going to prep five dinners so that I don't have to do much at all, if anything, during the week except throw it in the oven or, you know whatever, whatever the cooking instructions are. So I thought that I would just have you follow along with me while I prepped my dinners. Now I'm gonna tell you that I cannot share these recipes. This is a list service that I pay for. So it's a quarterly quarterly um, payment plan and it's something that I've been a member of for over a year now and I really like it. I like it because they send me 40 new recipes every month and then I can pick and choose and print out the ones that I want so just to kind of give you an idea I have two pages of ingredients here and it's broken down by aisle and I think I did talk about this in my in my grocery haul but it's broken down as far as frozen ingredients produce um, they're calling it pantry staples, but it's more like seasonings and such. So I went ahead and I purchased this and so most of the stuff I had in my freezer and in my cabinets, so that was really good. So always shop your cabinets first. So what we're making today is we have a chicken pot pie soup, a Parmesan crusted tilapia, and we're not gonna use tilapia. Actually, I have some frozen mahi-mahi and I'm super excited because I really like that one. I like the mahi mahi much better. And then we're going to do herb crusted pork chops, broiled sausage, zucchini, and onion, and I'm gonna add chicken to mine, and then broiled steak bites. So I thought we would go ahead and get started and start throwing this stuff together. So if you see my baggie holders here, this is how I am going to be placing my items in the fridge for the week. So you just open up your gallon baggie, place this here and voila it holds your baggies for you so I wanted to go ahead and show you how easy that was to set up and when you get ready to store these it's really nice because these just go down and it lies flat so it stores pretty pretty easy um, if you're interested in these they are there's a link in my Amazon influencer page that I'll have listed below so you can easily track these down on your own um, they were fairly cheap I mean really fairly cheap so I went ahead and cut up my beef for my steak bites we're just gonna put that put that in there but I didn't want to throw that in there until you know until we talked about the baggie holders and this is what it looks like in the package so I just want to leave that out for you I'm just gonna toss that up there out of the way now another tip that I'm going to give you is gather all your ingredients and put your meat in the bag so that it's one less thing that you have to contend with and like my, my fish is going to go in this container here, so I just put a container out here and we'll start working with that one in a little while. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna start on our first meal. So chicken pot pie soup, and that's gonna be the one that I have the two chicken breasts in here. 
And this recipe is calling for celery, a bay leaf, peas and carrots, chopped onions, corn, garlic, oregano, dried thyme, and then chicken breast. So it says chop celery and add to the zipper bag, which we already have our chicken in. So I'm just gonna grab my cutting mat. And what I should have done is washed my celery, but of course I was trying to show you real time on how this is done. So I have all of my produce things in this little container here just to make it easier and quicker for myself. But we're gonna pop this stuff out, grab my celery, and hopefully get this washed really quick so I can get this chopped up. Oh, and don't let me forget my lovely assistant today. My granddaughter Allison wanted to help out, so I've got her joining in, joining in with me today. And as you're doing this, you also want to have like a, a dish pan or fill up your sink with some soapy water so that as you're working, you can just go ahead and toss that stuff behind you. And then when you're done, when you get ready to wash all of your stuff, it's already pre-soaked and you don't even have to screw around with it. Or should I say, mess around with it. Now it calls for one and a half stalks of celery. So I'm just gonna throw in two stalks here. And the only thing that I'm doing here is I'm in putting the items in the bag that you need for assembly. There's additional ingredients that you may need on cooking day. Um, like on cooking day for this one, I'm gonna have to add chicken broth, maybe some optional Greek yogurt if I want to, and then have biscuits. All right, so we've got that chopped. It's gonna go ahead and throw that in the bag. And those baggy holders just make things so much easier. And I'm just going to toss this off to the side because I think I have to chop something else in a little while. Okay, so it's calling for a half a bay leaf. So we're going to grab my bay leaves, peas and carrots. I went the frozen route. It's calling for chopped onion. About a half a cup. I've got a leftover half one I pulled out of the fridge, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Some corn, garlic, oregano, and what I should have done is I should have had at least the first ingredient or the first recipe out here, but again, this is real life, so I just wanted to show you how I do it. All right, so I have oregano. I'm going to grab a second oregano because I'm not sure how much is left in that first one, and then some thyme. All right, so... We've got our chicken, we've got our celery, we're gonna throw a bay leaf in here. And it calls for a half a bay leaf, so I'm just gonna grab a small one. Here you go, my lovely assistant. Throw it in. Throw it in there. Peas and carrots. I'm missing my scissors. Can you grab my other scissors over there, please? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. you are? Yes. Okay. We were using the scissors earlier to cut other things, so oh, yeah. good thing I have backup pairs. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put about half this bag in there. Okay. And one of the things that I like when you're making some of these meals is, especially if it's calling for vegetables, I just throw extra in. And we have corn here. Um, I'll put that in. So we got our corn in. Just gonna throw that back there. One and a half teaspoons of minced garlic. So if you can grab me a tablespoon, please. You want to do one? Yeah. So, thank you. Bye -bye. I'm gonna set that off to the side because I know I'm gonna need more of that in a little while. Um and then we need oregano and thyme. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of oregano and thyme in here. That one. And then uh, that's it for that one. So, meal one, done. So we're just gonna pull that off. 
Can we put it anywhere? Zipper our bag. Yes, can you grab me that container over there, please? This one? Yep. Just gonna switch that stuff together. Oh. Drop it in the container, and we're gonna set that off to the side. So, one done. The next one we have is Parmesan crusted tilapia. And Allison wants to play with this one. Making sure I wondered if we needed an onion in that last one. We do. I need to put, can you open that bag back up? Yeah, right back over there. Yep. Oh yeah, we did forget about the onion. We did forget the onion. I can't open it. I, I felt like we were forgetting something, but I was like, eh. I can't remember, so. Yeah, and I was looking at the list and we still forgot. And I pulled the onion out. I clearly said we had to put onion in it. Yeah, you did, I remember. I know. <sighs> so do you ever do that? Do you ever forget to put your onion in or you get done with something at the end and you're like, oh man, I forgot to put that in there. All right, we're just gonna toss that behind us. Put that in. Throw our onion in. Stay back. And then my lovely assistant can close that bag back up for me. Even onions. Okay. Oh, is this the fish one? Yep, the fish one is next. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a plate. Oh, pop our bag holder down. I'm going to set that off to the side. I know these over here. Okay. Just need a small container. And then we're going to need our fish, which is here. Let me grab that. We're going to need the Parmesan. Where I need to Oh, yeah. I remember putting it in there. Garlic powder. Garlic? Powder. Paprika. Paprika. Parsley flakes. Paprika. Um, the mayonnaise, of course. Wow. Our tilapia, which we're going to use mahi mahi. What is that? We need broccoli, broccoli. baby carrots, the garlic. Which, this one? Uh huh. So we're going to need this and that. Yep. Olive oil and salt and pepper. And I tried to pick some ingredients that. I can't be the only one that drops things because I'm working in my kitchen. Just All right, bay so leaves. just the bay leaves. All right, bay I'll leaves. That over there. Okay, so okay. we're gonna get started. started. So it says to add the Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, paprika, parsley flakes, and a pinch of salt and pepper to a shallow container. Do you want me to grab this? Yeah or no? Um, yes, we're gonna need that. I'm okay. gonna show them what we're what we're needing. What is this? Is I used, to, I used to think it was a paintbrush. It is kind of like a paintbrush. I thought it was like a paintbrush that like did special effects or something. But I think it's actually called a basting brush, maybe? Basting brush. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Is it a basting brush? I think it is, but I could be wrong. A food painter. Food painter. Food painter. Paint your food with it. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to need a half a cup. I'm gonna set it right here. Uh, Parmesan cheese. I really hope I have a half a cup in here. Doesn't Looks like we're gonna have to put that on the list. Definitely. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh my god. I know it's so a lot. good. You like she likes Parmesan cheese. She doesn't necessarily like fish, but she likes Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can add spaghetti especially. Mm -hmm. My favorite. So half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Colors. And um, let me know in the comments below, do you make fish? And if you do, how often do you have fish? I'm trying to step it up and have fish like once a week, but it doesn't necessarily happen around here. Sorry, I kind of blocked my blocked your view there for a second. 
Okay, so a teaspoon of parsley flakes. We're just gonna throw some of those in there. That's a half a cup. Oh yeah, that's a teaspoon. Yeah, it works for a teaspoon. Yeah. It's a half a tablespoon, but it's close enough. So it says to add the Parmesan cheese, the garlic powder, the paprika, the parsley flakes, and some salt and pepper. Do you want to grab the salt and pepper grinders and throw some in here? Is that it? Yep. Sure. Okay. Get up on the chair. Ground paprika. Now when you're pulling out your ground paprika, be very careful that you don't pull out your chili powder or your cayenne pepper, which is what I almost did. So. I think that would have been super hot. This? Yes. How do you do it? Like this. Like this? How much? Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. You're Thank you, my lovely assistant. You're welcome. All right, so I've got that done. So it says now that we should brush each fish fillet Brushing with mayonnaise and then dip it in the cheese mixture. So it's a fish brush. Yes. Food brush. Yes. The fish. And I do have frozen fish here because I didn't take the time to be thought, which is just fine. <laughs> so we're going to cut those packages open. Dora. <laughs> Dora. We locked the poor kitten out of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And she wants up here, and we're not gonna let her up here while we're in she's the middle of this. Being because other kids. That's right. She's also being mean to, our, to the other kids. We have a we have a guest in our house today. Um, Allison brought her kitten over, so they're playing, and everybody was having a good time. But somebody got grumpy, so we had to separate them again. Mm -hmm. So okay, so we have to do this. this, this. All right, so let's Is go ahead and get paint? these packages open. That's gonna be time to paint. So. Yes. What I'm going to need you to do. I don't know why I'm excited. I'm going to set this on the right Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. You want me to move that? There we go. Okay. 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 Do I have to touch that? With hands? No, you're going to use the brush. Okay. <laughs> Remember the brush that we have? Right here? That brush. Good job. So do I have to like paint it on there? Yes. Like that. Okay. I'm fine with that. As long as I don't have to really. Oh, I. I I would touch it, but... Do you want to grab some tongs? Yes. Wait, do we have tongs? Yeah, we have tongs. Oh, yeah. Sure. sure. I think... That I honestly think I'm only going to need three of these. So can you put this thing back in the freezer gently without Where? bumping the camera? This freezer? Yep, just okay. open it up a little bit and pop it right in there and I'll put it away later. I'm trying to like, so many do that. Good job. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, three might just totally be enough, so I'm not gonna get that fourth one out, even though I absolutely love fish. Do you want me to start painting or and just a second. close that? Okay, so we've got these three out here on our plate. So you're going to generously you're generous. put oh, okay. put lots on. That? Okay. <laughs> like that? Okay, let's do this. Watch. Oh lots. Lots like this. If we need a little bit more. Okay. okay. So hopefully that's coming across pretty good. Like and then it. if you do that, I'm going to take this. Do you want me to continue that one or the next one? Um, you're going to do the next one. Just going to swish up our little mixture here. Just in case you want to see. This is, hopefully let me get over here so I can see what you're seeing. This is what we have here for our mixture. All right, so. I'm painting the other one a little bit. Is this good? I'm trying to do this all in one take so that I can go through and again show you just how long this takes. Plus less time editing. It's a lot of less time editing, so. Well, your editing is easy. <laughs> all right, so we've got our first Let's one see. in here. And I have heard such good things about this recipe, so I'm super excited to give this one a try. It's a little harder since it's frozen, because like the mayonnaise is slipping. 
Got it? Yep. Okay. No more painting? No, no more painting. Aww. You can throw that in the sink. This is it? Yeah. Aww. Okay. Do you want me to throw this in the sink? You can throw that in the sink. Okay. All right. So that's good. So I'm just going to throw a little bit extra on here. Just I had a couple pieces that were not fully coated. And then I'm going to toss the rest of that, and we're just going to throw that behind us. So I'm going to cover this up, and then we're just going to toss that right in the fridge. Now, what I'm going to do is we're probably going to have the fish in the next day or two so that it doesn't sit in the fridge too long. Mm -hmm. Can you grab that bread, please? This one? Yep, that one. Yeah. Just going to wipe off my surface here. Because I made a little bit of a mess. And then we're going to continue on. A tiny one. Now, the next thing that we have to do is find my other rag so I can dry my counter. Or my, used to work it on my counter. Yeah. What do you think of this angle? I mean, and how's this working for you? Is this pretty good? This one better. I like this one better. <laughs> my helper thinks this one's better. I do. Because okay. I have a bigger workspace. It is and nicer to have a bigger work, wider workspace. And longer. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our side dish ready. So this one's really good because of the fact that this one has a side dish, and we'll have this one ready to go. So it says to place broccoli and carrots in a large zipper bag. Can you grab another bag for me? Yep, right here. Thank you. That one works. Just one more? Yeah. All right, so we have another bag here. Okay, yummy. Gonna pop this right on. And we're going to do a broccoli and carrot, which I already apparently got out. So broccoli and carrot side dish. So I'm just going to open up a thing of broccoli. Ooh. Just gonna pop that in. Oh, a whole thing? A whole thing. Gee. So I figured this way, I'll have the extra broccoli and carrots, and I'm not really worried about it because then I can just eat it for lunch the next day or whatever. about a half a bag so it's not that it doesn't take that long to cut these up I know it probably would go quicker if I would just cut them and then put them in the bag sometimes you think of that stuff after you've already done it a few times and you're like oh yeah maybe I should do it that way all right can you give Dora a bit of love for a minute yeah oh get your baby some love in. No. I'm right here. Okay, so back to what we were doing. I've got broccoli, I've got carrots. It says drizzle with olive oil and add garlic. Those are going to be good, right? All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here. Um, Maybe about a teaspoon. I'm trying not to use a lot because I definitely don't want these to count for too many points. And then I'm just going to throw some garlic in here. Because you can't go wrong with garlic, right? Alright, so I've got that. I think I'm just going to keep that off to the side because I think I need that for another um, season with salt and pepper. And then we can close this one up. Now the good thing about this is that your Vegetables are marinating in this garlic and the salt and pepper. I'm going to put more pepper in it. And it makes them taste really, really good. So, super happy to have that nice little side dish going. And there we go. And that's dinner number two. Now, to backtrack a little bit, the chicken pot pie is going to be zero smart points. Because all we put in there was vegetables and chicken. And then you'll just count the points for whatever whatever biscuits you're going to use with that. So, not bad. First one zero. Our Parmesan crusted tilapia. 
with the side dish of veggies is going to come out to be five smart points. So again, still not bad. The next thing we're going to make, and maybe I should explain this really quick. When I have my lists, what happens here is in the middle, we have the ingredients needed, and hopefully you can see that, the ingredients needed for assembly, and then you have your assembly directions over here, and then over here is the day of cooking. So it's broken down really easy for you, so you just basically have to follow the middle section and this section as you're doing your prep. Bye, so, thank you. All right, so the next one we're doing is our herb crusted pork chops. So we're gonna need our pork chops. Which, these are? Dijon mustard. Okay, you guys ready for me to say it again? Herbs de Provence. What? That's spice. It's a new spice. How do you pronounce it? Herbs de Provence. See? Provence. Provence. E N C E. Ents. Herbs de Provence. That's what I'm going to call it. Ents. All right, so salt and pepper, garlic again. I think we're done with the Parmesan. Asparagus and olive oil. All right. I kind of like this. It's nice to be able to kind of switch things out and push them back and forth because it seems like it's just, it's, it's actually a little more organized, so not too bad. All right, we are actually gonna need another bag, but I think I'm just gonna have you grab one of those bowls over there with the orange lid. Okay. I think that should be fine. All right, so it says to add the first five ingredients to a large zipper bag with your meat. So that's going to be the pork chops, the mustard, the herbs de Provence, salt and pepper, and garlic. Can you open up the asparagus for me? Asparagus. Yeah. The asparagus. And what I did is I took a shortcut. Um, I knew I had already had some asparagus spears from Trader Joe's, so I thought we'd just yeah. go ahead and use that. They should fit in there. Yeah. They don't, we'll cut them in half. How does that sound? Mm, perfection. Okay, so we need some Dijon mustard. And I'm not really going to measure this because of the fact that Dijon mustard is zero points. So I'm just going to squirt some in there. All of this? All of that. And then I'm going to do a half a tablespoon of Herbs de Provence. Provence. We need to put more stuff in there. No. Okay. Wait, I can't open it out. Okay, yeah. Good job. Sorry, those are hard. Okay. So a half a tablespoon of that. It barely fits, okay? But it does fit. It's perfect. Perfection. If you just mad me out, we're gonna go. Okay, it doesn't smell too bad. Going to work out a little bit. She started purring, but then she got on my back. Mm -hmm. And yep, started... go, go, go check on her again. It's she... gonna be a challenging day meal prepping. I don't know. Do you have these issues too? You you kind of get sidetracked a little bit, and you have to stop and start and stop and start. Because that does happen. And again, real life. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. All right, so salt and pepper. And I'll probably, you know, adjust the salt and pepper once I am laying these out onto the pan when I'm making it. All right, so do we have everything in here? Nope, garlic. So calling for garlic and you know what I say a little extra garlic never hurt anybody so bam got some extra garlic in there all right so we're going to close that bag up and it's going to squish the stuff together and try to coat that as best I can And it seems like I, I, I'm losing my, my partner in crime. Just a little bit. Like that. Okay. Alright, so I've got those pretty good. And what that's going to do is that's going to sit in the fridge and that's going to marinate. So it's going to be really, really good. So I'm just going to get the rest of the air out of there. And then close that up. 
and we will throw that in our container. All right. Next up, we're going to work on our asparagus. And then with our asparagus, we just have to add garlic and olive oil, so that's pretty simple. Try to get it to pour out as light as I can. There we go. I've got about a tablespoon on those because of the fact that I think we need more on that so that it just gets the flavor to go through it. And then I'm going to put in calling for a half a tablespoon of olive oil, but it was only calling for a half a bunch of asparagus. Since I have a whole one, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a whole tablespoon on there just so that we have it. And although it doesn't call for salt and pepper, I think it's going to need salt and pepper, so I'm just adding that since I already have it out. So it's just one less thing I have to do when I get ready to cook it. All right, so that's done. And um, these little bowls here, I still have the the plastic on it, I need to take that off. But um, I got these at the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I like these is because of the fact that if you are prepping meals for your Instant Pot, this bowl, even when it's frozen, you can pop the frozen ingredients out and they go right into your Instant Pot. So, little tip for you there, but um, super excited to find that tip. I think I learned that one from, I don't know, it was another website I was watching, but it's kind of a cool little tip to have. So we're just going to set that off to the side and that one is done. All right, so the next one we're doing is broiled sausage, zucchini, and onions. And for that one, we are going to have our sausage. Now I use the Gilbert's sausage and you've heard me talk about that before. Um, the Gilbert sausage is three smart points for one sausage link, two for seven, and four for 14. So it doesn't like double or anything like that. I just put ahead and cut up three of the sausages and put them in here, and I have one chicken breast. Now, when I get ready to make this, the chicken breast will be dethawed then, and I'll just go ahead and cut the chicken breast up into bite sized pieces before I cook it. Now, had the chicken already been thawed, I would have just go ahead and cut that up so it would be one less step that I had to contend with. So the next thing we have to do is this is calling for zucchini, onions. So we need our cutting board back out. And we totally could have just cut all the vegetables up and been done with it. But again, I just figured I would just do it all for you here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I got a nice big softball size onion here, and I think I need that for another one, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the whole thing. I'm going to grab a bowl. And set that off. Alright, so I've got two just regular medium sized zucchini here. Which is zucchini? The, the zucchini is a squash. Oh. But it's really good. What does it taste like? I'd like to say a cucumber, but no. Since this end was a little fatter, I just went ahead and cut that in half. <laughs> no. <laughs> the dog's trying to sneak in here. Okay, so. The dog has figured out how to open up the new barn door. So I used to be able just to come in the kitchen, shut the door, and not have to worry about having interruptions. But now everybody knows how to open the barn door. So now they just kind of do their own thing. You know, it says to cut these into bite-sized pieces. But to me, if you cut these too small, you kind of they kind of get mushy. So I'm just leaving them in half rounds. We're going to try it this way. I've made this one once before. And... I, the last time I cut them into bite-sized pieces, and I think it was just too, I mean, they, I just, we're going to try it this way. I will let you know how this turns out. Yeah. All right, so we're going to cut our onion up. Oh, you said it back. I don't like onions. Onions, uh, onions are good. I don't like them, but yeah, I don't like a lot of things. 
so that's a good thing to hold. So also let me know, I, I know that when I talked about doing the five dinners in one hour, I know that um, a couple of you asked which plan I had. Um, with the five dinners in one hour, and again, this is not sponsored. Um, I thought about becoming an affiliate, but their affiliate program was full when I checked into it. So maybe that's something I can check into later where I can do this more often. But I don't think it's against the rules for me to do this on my channel. So I thought I would just go ahead and share with you how I do it and how much I love the program. I mean, I really do. Again, been a member for over a year. So it just seems like it's easier to have somebody else make your list for you, give you your, your recipes and your ingredients and your prep instructions. It just makes it so much easier. So back to the plans. So they asked me what plan I had and there's a classic plan, there's a combo plan, there's all kinds of different plans on there. So I actually am, well there's a classic plan and a clean eating. But um, they also have a combo plan that includes both, and that's the one that I have been a member of for over a year now. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I'm just going to give those a rough chop, and we're just going to set that off to the side, and we're going to throw that right into our bag. And this bag gets pretty full. It's already like three quarters of the white bill. Okay, so we have our chicken, our sausage, our zucchini, our onion. We're going to do olive oil, oregano. salt and pepper, and cherry tomatoes. So I have our oregano here. I think I still have a little bit left in this one. All right, so I always like to go in order because otherwise I'll forget. So, do you want to check to make sure we're still filming? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Having her check the phone because that's happened before where I thought I was filming and then all of a sudden somebody called or some weird thing came through my phone and then all of a sudden it you cut didn't it just off. get a message to yourself. That's okay. I can get that later. All right, so there's our olive oil. We've got oregano. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Just gonna dump the rest of that in there. And then I'll finish off that bottle. Salt and pepper and a half pint of cherry tomatoes. Just gonna give these a quick little rinse. Mm -hmm. I love how it just comes out, how it comes out on the bottom. It looks like one of those like bunch of balloons. And I'm just going to put about half of those, a little over half of that in there. The then, I'll, the then I'll eat those later. I don't know about you, I love cherry tomatoes. I mean, I totally I love them. I don't. Alright, and then salt and pepper. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you know? The bag. Don't smell the bag. There's an action. <laughs> she got a whiff of the oregano. Okay. Because I was taking it right with my nose over it, and then we have three done. All right, oh, so. Have three done? Wow. I didn't notice. Um, I think we have four done. I will check real quick. Mm. One, two, four, three, next four. Yeah, this is four. four. And then five. All right, so that one is now done. And when I get done, I'll tell you um, what the instructions are on how these are going to go at the end. All right, so it doesn't look like I need my cutting board anymore. So I'm going to set that off to the side. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is the broiled steak bites. And this one called for a sirloin steak. Now when I when you get this recipe, um, when you get your recipes, you can choose to, like it, it's automatically at six servings, but since it's just my husband and I, I back mine down to three servings so that it gives us enough food to where if one of us are kind of hungry, we have a little extra. And if not, I have extras left over for, for lunches the next day. So I always back mine down to three servings. Um, so it, it kind of works out, it works out great for us. All right, backing up one more time to the pork chops. Pork chops were five smart points per chop. I almost forgot to tell you that. Uh, the broiled sausage and zucchini is, it was gonna be four smart points per serving if I added four sausages, but since I only added three, we're gonna back that down and call that three smart points per serving. 
And the broiled steak bites are going to be nine smart points. And so this one's a little higher, but it's so good. It's so worth it. So we have our steak. And I just went ahead and cut that into bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. It calls for a Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. What? Worcestershire. Wait, wait, let me read it. Worsh, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. But it's called Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Everybody pronounces this different. So I'm going to throw some of that in here. Do your eyes hurt? I do. Oh, the onions? Yeah, my eyes hurting a little bit. From okay. So Not bad, I have Worcestershire sauce in there. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Um, sauce. Italian dressing. Italian. Steak seasoning. Steak. Barbecue sauce. And that's it for this one. So we're going to throw in some steak seasoning. It just calls for just a little bit of that. So how much? I don't know. It's thick. Oh, it's coming now. Now, stop. Oh, I thought you meant like only a drop. No, like like a teaspoon. Oh, love it. Okay. So we've got that in there. Now it calls for a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Maybe you? Half a cup. So I have a half a cup. I just have a cup one here. We'll just use this cup one and just see what we've got. So I've got some Famous Dave's barbecue sauce here. And I knew I wouldn't have enough of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the other one. The other barbecue sauce that's behind me, my lovely assistant will grab for me. What barbecue? Oh, this one. That one. Oh, Jesus, it's actually heavy. <laughs> we barbecue a lot, and Ooh. my husband pulls a smoker out too, so we tend to buy larger quantities of barbecue sauce. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use a third of a cup, so maybe I can get this the smart points down because the barbecue sauce was one of the main ingredients that was making it a little higher. So, okay, so I have the steaks, the Worcestershire sauce, Worc the steak seasoning, one teaspoon of steak seasoning. So, what I think that should have been is steak seasoning. Instead, we put steak sauce in it. So, guess what? We're just changing things up around here. So. Oh, wow, that came out fast. Barbecue sauce in here, and then we're going to do the Italian salad dressing. Calls for a half cup of that, but again, I'm just going to go shy on that one too. Oh wow! And then I think maybe I'll just throw a little bit of the steak seasoning in here too, just to kind of keep the flavors where they should be. Alright, so that's it for that one. Now for this one it says to serve with baking potatoes and it said more asparagus, but I only have the one thing of asparagus, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to serve this with um, maybe, I don't know, some green beans or something. Green beans? Because I really like green beans and I think that'll be good. So we'll probably do a baked potato and green beans. Do you want to squish this? Make sure oh, it's all squishy. So, You're not even touching it! <laughs> it feels weird. It's not ew, it's just like whoa. Uh-huh. So, back to my baked potatoes. Okay. Check out those big boys. <laughs> so if you if you attend my class on Thursday nights, no. I talked about these baked potatoes. So it's like look, they're huge. They're as big as my hand probably. They are. Oh so Nine smart points per baked potato on these. So since we're having this with the steak bites, I think that we'll have, I'll have like half a baked potato that night. And then we'll just have extra veggies. And then I'll have that with another meal later. So those big old baked potatoes. I'm just having fun with this, like way too much. So let's recap here really quick, just so I can let you know where we're at. And as we're wrapping this up, I'm just gonna move a couple of these things out of the way. 
Well, so you see that I have extra things out here, but I grabbed them off my list, and sometimes with the list, it's some of the things that I need for cooking day, both and I don't necessarily need it for prep day. Both of the kids are sleeping right now, too. All right. So this is what we have. I'm just going to pull a chair around here. I'll pull mine up. You can pull your chair around there. And let's kind of do a quick little recap of what we have. My water back in case I get thirsty. Thank you. My eyes are actually hurting bad from that. It's the onions. The onion was very strong. It's so. never, I've actually never had my eyes hurt from onions. Yeah. Okay. So, Freeze. are we ready to recap? Yeah, but I'll show this. All right. My eyes have never been hurt by onions. That's why it's like. Okay, so just so you know, I only cut out maybe two minutes of this video. So, you've mm -hmm. seen this real time as far as what we were doing. It's basically live except posting later. Yep, it's live but posting later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about the chicken pot pie. As I said, zero smart points, and that one is going to go in the slow cooker. So it's a slow cooker meal, so it's either going to go in the slow cooker or I may, might throw it in my instant pot. We'll see how much time I have on that day. So that one's going to go in the slow cooker, and the only thing I'm going to do is add some chicken broth, some Greek yogurt, and then, the, of course, the biscuits to that. So... That is going to be the day of cooking. And it says that you cook it and then you shred the chicken and then you serve it. So there you go. That one is, again, only the smart points for the biscuit. The next one, the Parmesan crusted tilapia. That one is going to be five smart points. And again, I did not use tilapia. I used the, the, um, ma -ma. the mahi, mahi mahi on mahi. that. And I guess I should have pulled out the other one. So this is the chicken pot pie here. So for the Parmesan crusted tilapia, I says just to serve that with rice. So I'll probably serve that with a vegetable. Actually, I, we do have the vegetables here, right? Somewhere. Here. Yeah. So we're going to serve that with these vegetables and with some brown rice. Now, if you're following along with my Instant Pot series, you'll see that I just, oh, I'm so happy. I just perfected the brown rice, so I have the brown rice ready to go for this meal. So we'll have the, the fish, the veggies, and the brown rice that I made. And the brown rice is probably gonna be six points per cup. I'll probably only have half a cup, so that will be three points. Right. So we will have five plus three plus one, I'm gonna count for the veggies. And that will be eight points for that meal. Wait, five plus three plus one? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 Yeah, nine. I was like, was not eight, five plus three is eight. Plus one is nine. Smarty pants. Okay, so the next meal that we're making is going to be the herb crusted pork chops. And the ingredients needed on cooking day for that, it looks like it's going to be served with a side of mashed cauliflower. So I have frozen cauliflower downstairs for that. So we're going to have the mashed cauliflower. I'm not sure of the points on that one because it just calls for a little bit of milk and Parmesan cheese. So that one may be zero smart points as we get through. So five points for one pork chop plus, you know, zero or one point for the cauliflower. And then I'll probably serve something else with that because my husband will probably want something else. So we'll have that with maybe a vegetable or maybe I'll give him some real mashed potatoes because I'm not sure I can trick him. I'll try, I'll let you know. The next one is the broiled sausage, zucchini and onions. And that one says just to serve that on a side salad, with a side salad. And that one is just gonna be cooked on a sheet pan in the oven. So I'm just going to dump this bag onto a sheet pan cook it in the oven, let it crisp up and do its thing, and that will be dinner. So I'll just mix up a salad, which I'd already bought the side salad to go with that too. Um, the pork chops are also going to go into the oven because I'm sure I forgot to say that. Did I say the last one? What was the last one? Um, tilapia, oven too. So these are just throw on a sheet pan and throw them in the oven. Oh wow. Um, the last one, is the broiled steak bites and that one is going to be served with a side of corn and the baked potato of course and i'm going to do some green beans so i'll probably you know just triple up on the veggies that day 
because again, between the baked potato and the steak bites, it's gonna be a little higher dinner, so I'll just accommodate and have a lower point breakfast and lunch that day for that. Now, that is also just throw in the oven under the broiler, so super simple. So what's gonna happen the day of cooking on most of these meals, it's gonna be one pan. So it's either gonna be a sheet pan or the crock pot that I'm gonna to have to wash up and get ready to go. So, what do you think? What do you think of the system? I mean, it's super simple. It's nice because when I get home from work, it's really easy. And then if it's something that if I'm running late for work, my husband can always just go ahead and start dinner before I get home. So, recap, last time, we have our chicken pot pie. We have our Parmesan crusted tilapia and veggies. We have our herb pork chops here. We have our broiled zucchini and onions here. And then we have our broiled steak bites here. And I think the asparagus goes with pork chops. So here. So that's it. All done. So not sure how long this took. You want to check our time on our timer? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be in two minutes. 51, in, 51 minutes and 30 seconds exactly now. Okay, so 51 minutes it took us, and that was with having a helper and She's slowing down a little bit and chit-chatting all the way through. Now, if you're going to do this on your own, seriously, it takes like a half hour to get these dinners together. And again, all the prep's done. I have a couple of dishes to wash, and that's it. So during the days of my cooking, it's just one pan cleanup. So I hope you give this a try. Um, I hope that you give it a try, and if you do, let me know. And again, if you have a subscription service like this, let me know. And we, um, I think that's it. All right, signing off from here, I want to thank you again for watching. Thank you for watching. Her, her mom's on her way to pick her up, so I'm going to lose her real quick. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know down below if you'd like to see me do more of these. And if so, we'll bring you more. All right, so with that being said, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.